friends and visitors and welcome to Monet Cafe. I've missed you guys. I've not uploaded a video for a while because I've had some company and some craziness in my life. Uh, but I thought today I'd give a little short and sweet video and uh, give you guys some information on pastel storage techniques and tips. I know I've had a few people inquire about that on some of my other videos, so I thought I'd give a quick little studio uh, tour of how I store my pastels, and I thought what a perfect time to do this because this is the dreaded day that I am deciding to put all of my pastels away that I've used for other projects. Now I've already put a lot of them away. <laughs> this is um, just a couple of little palettes that I have laid out all my miscellaneous pastels to start putting away. Now I'm going to show you my system of pastel storage, but there's multiple ways that you can store pastels. I particularly love the storage system of pastel artist Richard McKinley. And I learned a lot from a pastel artist friend of mine named Deborah Secor as to how she arranges her pastels. And so there's various different ways you can do this and a lot of it's just your own personal preference. But one thing I would highly recommend, because I talk so much about the importance of value, you may notice that most pastel artists do store their pastels in a way that uh, makes it easy to identify the value of a color. Now, for example, this happens to be my drawer system, and it is my, my blues and my purples. And I happen to think I probably have a smaller selection of pastel to create the amount of pastel work I have over the years than any other artist. <laughs> That's a bold claim. Perhaps not, but I know I don't have the largest selection. I see pastel artists that have so many pastels, and I'm a little bit envious, but but I'm happy for those artists at the same time. And um, so I'm going to show you kind of how my little system works. I have, I found this at a little um, uh, home craft store type of place. And I have things on top of this now. But this is a neat little, uh, let me move this out of the way. This is a neat little drawer system. Now I have my blue uh, drawer out already on my uh, drawing table. But what I do is I have this drawer system to where the top ones are the blues that I have. The next one's ends are my greens. I'm going to set this down so I can pull my, my drawers out and show you. And um, this is my greens. And I'll, again, I have not put a lot of these away. Uh, and they've gotten a little out of order. I would typically have my, my lighter values back here. And they've just gotten out of whack. So I have my, my warmer greens on one side and my cooler greens on the other side. And they go from light to dark, typically. Again, some things are out of order a little bit. But then I have my um, my next drawer are my yellows and my oranges, I mean, oranges and reds. And then my next drawer are my pinks and in the pink and uh, earthy brown family in here. And the last drawer is for neutrals. And I haven't yet got things going there. I just have my blacks and whites in there. So as you can see, I don't have a tremendously large selection of pastels. Now I do have some pastel pencils. I do have a selection of the harder pastels that's not in that drawer. And you may have seen in my video, sometimes for underpaintings, I'll use these water soluble wax pastels. But that's pretty much it for my pastels. So that should be pretty encouraging um, for others to know that you can, you know, over a uh, just a little bit of time. I know they're expensive, but you can accumulate enough to actually uh, create some pretty good works of art. And I wanted to show too, this was the first system that I used. It's just these boxes. It's called Degas Artist Pastel Box. And it's just a box that has um, uh, some, I think I may have put this in here. I think I did. I'm not sure if it comes with the foam in there, but I did the same as my drawer system, putting my pastels in there. Now I use these boxes um, just for moving them around or when I'm working on a painting or something. Now this next um, little piece of equipment here <laughs> or drawer is actually um, a modification I did out of a little um, transportable uh, drawing tablet or a uh, box that you can take with you uh, when you're traveling. And I took the drawer part that fits under here and um, I just loaded up with pastels that would be um, adequate for going on a trip and doing some pastel work. And um, this on here was a little art lesson I did in watercolor with their uh, color caterpillars showing how to blend colors. That's watercolor, not pastel. However, um, I also wanted to point out too, for um, beginners, 
These are, and, and intermediate, these are a couple of really good pastel books that I used um, when I first got started. This is The Pastel Book by Bill Creevy. And this one is Pastel Painting Techniques. Um, this one here shows you more techniques and uh, ways to use pastels. And there's just a, a ton of information in here on different techniques. And again, all these things become your own personal little way that you uh, work in pastels. And um, everybody develops their own little interesting uh, techniques and ways that is unique to you. This one here is just lots of information on pastels in general. Some, some techniques are in here too, but a lot of it is just on education about pastels. So those are a couple of really good resources. Again, this little video was just short and sweet, um, hopefully giving you some good information about how to keep your pastels. Um, one other little quick tip uh, I've developed um, just kind of recently is just to keep a newsprint wherever I'm working or up on my easel when I'm working so that you may notice these pastels get kind of dirty sometimes. This one's, this one's pretty dirty here. And so I can just rub it pretty quickly and it's clean. There's all kinds of different pastel cleaning techniques as well, but that's just one that works pretty good for me. So anyway, I hope you guys learned something from this quick little tutorial or um, demo or instruction video and uh, happy painting to all of my friends. I'm really enjoying having you guys here with me and hopefully I'll be back to my regular upload schedule and I hope to upload at least a video a week. So. Thank you subscribers and thank you new visitors and happy painting. Bye.